Know who you all are walking with. I told you the importance earlier on in the year about checking your inner circle and God is doing a lot of removing, exposing. And sometimes he'll even leave that person there as a Judas, but it's for you to understand and know how to walk with them. I've done many teachings that you have to be so aware and vigilant in this season that everybody that is walking with you is not for you. And when people are so spiritually compromised, there can be jealousy and envy that can manifest. Everybody doesn't wanna see you win, child of God. But I want to tell you how to distinguish a covenant relationship, a true friendship versus a Judas relationship and how to walk accordingly. You see, Jonathan was Saul's son, but Jonathan loved David. Jonathan gave of himself. He took his robe off and he gave it to him. See, it was a sacrificial gift. When you're in alignment with someone that is truly a covenant friendship, they are gonna give something of themselves that's so sacrificial, it's so meaningful. Even if it means that they cannot be in alignment with family, they're going to obey the word of the Lord. They're going to obey the connection, the divine connection, the divine relationship over DNA. Y'all better hear me, right? But when you're walking with a Judas, a Judas will always steal. A Judas will always seek to betray you. A Judas is secretly compromised, okay? They don't want to see you win. So you have to understand throughout the Bible, there are different relationships. We could even analyze a few more, right? But I just wanted to use those as a comparison metric. You know, even on these internet streets, people have this decept deceptive spirit. Yeah, God will expose people who are watching you. They are watching you with a different username. They're on your YouTube trolling as someone else, but God will show you who they are. You have to be very careful when you're dealing with highly discerning, Holy Spirit filled people because God will expose you. And we won't say anything, but we see you and we understand who you are. So it's very important that you ask God to reveal who is who in your life so that you can walk accordingly. Now, it's not for you to be out here on these internet streets ex exposing people but it's for you to walk diligently, circumspectly. It's so that you can be wise as a serpent, yet gentle. Come on, y'all, as a dove, because sad to say, not everybody wants to see you win. It's sad to say that some people are sitting up here. Somebody was sitting up here watching from a fake account now, okay? Because they don't want to expose who they are, but God has already exposed you. You know, that's a deceptive spirit in itself. When you are got all these accounts and you can't show up as who you are, that's a deceptive spirit. You're compromised just in that. But this is the world we live in where people are not authentic. They just show up as any and everybody. But God sees. God sees. We have to live a life like we understand God is watching us and stop pretending and stop having this deceptive spirit and show up authentically as who we are. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to share that word. Be careful in this season who you're walking with because everybody that says they're for you is not for you. Okay? All right.